Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just canceled backstabbing Congress's fancy picnic, has priceless plan for all the food. There was supposed to be an annual congressional picnic, but since President Trump rightly so felt like Congress didn't deserve to have one, he canceled it on the spot. We are going to cancel and postpone tomorrow's congressional picnic, Trump said. It doesn't feel right to have a picnic for Congress when we are doing something very important. He added, it didn't feel exactly right to me. This is what some have all been waiting to see for decades now. Since the backstabbers in Congress have been avoiding doing their job for decades, it's now being reported that President Trump hypothetically took them out behind the woodshed today. No. He didn't beat them although the liberal mainstream media may paint it as he did even worse to them. But there was only one problem with the cancellation. The preparations had already begun. The menu is awesome. It included ribeye steaks, coleslaw, quinoa, spinach, black beans and a huge assortment of pies. Since all this food was already being prepared President Trump decided to do what's right. Instead of throwing it out he decided to feed all of the food to Walter Reed Hospital patients caregivers and employees at the Warrior and Family Center in Bethesda. This was later confirmed by IOSO spokeswoman. What a beautiful gesture, to give all that top-notch food to American heroes instead of the jokers in Congress. Update America covered more on the cancelled party and presentation of a good meal to those who seem to deserve it a lot more. President Donald Trump surprised members of Congress earlier this week when he abruptly cancelled the annual congressional picnic. Basically, the president felt like they didn't deserve it. The menu included ribeye steaks, spinach, coleslaw, quinoa, black beans and pies. Rather than let Congress throw a fancy picnic, President Trump's administration decided to feed all of the food to Walter Reed Hospital patients, caregivers and employees at the Warrior and Family Center in Bethesda, Bloomberg's Jennifer Jacobs reported. That means America's military heroes are going to be eating very good. President Trump has called on Democrats to stop obstructing and work with Republicans to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Earlier this week, the president signed an executive order to keep immigrant families together. Now it's lawmakers' turn to do their job. We must maintain a strong southern border. We cannot allow our country to be overrun by illegal immigrants as the Democrats tell their phony stories of sadness and grief, hoping it will help them in the elections, Trump tweeted on Friday. Obama and others had the same pictures, and did nothing about it. Trump isn't the only one who doesn't seem happy with Congress. Their approval ratings aren't doing so well among voters either. It's no secret that Congress isn't exactly the most popular institution in American government. But now it's reaching new lows. Congress sank to a 10 percent approval rating in a new Quinnipiac University poll released on Thursday, with roughly five in six Americans saying they disapprove of the country's legislative body. This compares to an 18% approval rating in March. And if you're searching for the main reason behind the drop, look no further than Republican voters. Back in January and March, more than one in three Republicans said they had positive views of Congress, which is controlled by the GOP in both chambers. But now, that's plummeted to just 14% of Republican voters who give Congress a thumbs up. The new numbers come after a high-profile effort to repeal and replace Obamacare barely squeaked through the House and failed in a dramatic late-night vote in the Senate. Congress's overall 10 percent approval is the lowest for Congress in Quinnipiac's history of data back to 2003. Using Gallup data beyond that, it's the lowest for Congress in data back to 1974. Congress did reach a 9 percent approval rating in Gallup polling in November 2013 in the wake of a two-week government shutdown, and to make matters worse, Republicans were Congress's most supportive group. The low numbers stretch across every demographic division, only 12 percent of non-whites, 12 percent of people under 35 years old, 11 percent of men, 10 percent of people over 65 years old, 9 percent of women and 9 percent of whites approve. Support for Congress among independents has also bottomed out, falling from 18 percent in January to just 8 percent now. Democrats have remained essentially stable in the single digits. With all the issues we are facing today it's no time for our so-called representatives to be taking time to enjoy a barbecue. Especially when we have a party like the Democrats who seem intent on ruining our nation by forcing us into open borders along with the help of their mainstream media and celebrities who spread lies and misinformation. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.